Hi guys, my name is Lisa Jones and I'm a dye designer here at Sezix. Um, and one of my roles here, my main role, is to design these dyes. Um, so you've probably seen our little logos here on the packaging. So this one is one of mine. Um, and I've actually drawn this flower and then got it created into a dye. So it's a really exciting um, role and it's really nice to see it come together and be used by our makers as well. Um, so this one here is Layered Summer Flowers um, and is released as part of the Sezix Chapter 2 range. And I'm going to be showing you um, a bit of inspiration of what you can make with it and also make a card together here. So let's start. So I'm going to start off by showing you what you get in the set. Um, so all of the dies in the pack here. You've probably seen I've already done quite a few different layered flower designs um, but this one is my summer version. So you can see here I've cut the pieces separate so you get a main piece here like which is your base piece and it has crease rules on there to show you where to put the next layer. So on the next layer for this one there's three individual pieces that you would stick on top in a different hue or you know you could use watercolors to change the, the different colors here um, or whatever you like there's so many different color combinations um, that you can use. Then it's got this center piece here that finishes it off and this is the one all assembled together. So we've got a second flower here. This one's got two additional pieces. It's got like the edging and then the center piece and that is what it creates. Then we've got a little flower here again, a little one that has kind of more like a, um, a stem piece that you can layer up with the leaves. Um, so this one has three layers again and then we've got two sets of leaves that has just a secondary layer and that is the finished outcome. So you can use these without the layers, you know, they all kind of mix and match together, um, but that is how it's designed and intended for use. So I'm gonna be making the larger flower here. So I've made it in purple on the packaging. So the packaging is really good um, kind of indication for you to refer back to if you're not sure how I'm meant to assemble it or how it's meant to work all together. The image on the front is super helpful for that. Um, so I'm gonna make the bigger flower and then for this project, I always kind of start, because we've got so many different kind of color combination options, I always start by kind of picking out my color palette. Uh, so for this one, I'm using like the, some of the muted cards, um, as well as some of the muted opulence in there as well, and um, just to add a little bit of interest. So I'll bring in my machine. So today I'm using the fold away, and I'll grab my dies. So for this one, I think I'm going to use the muted pink for the base of the flower, which is this full dye piece. I'm just putting it on the base of my sandwich there. Um, and then I'm thinking the to add a bit of shine, I'm going to use this um, opulence muted cardstock. And then the secondary layer of this one is this piece here. And then I've already, for ease of use, I've put adhesive sheets on the backing of this cardstock ready. Um, so I'm going to pop that in there as well. And just run those through. There we go. I'm just going to pop these out of the dies. Move these out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the base piece and you can see here it's got the crease roll there ready to show you where to put the next piece. And then these are the three, and I've grouped them on the same die as well so that they're all, you're not gonna mix up like what goes on which flower because they're all grouped handily together. So these are little bits that I try and kind of think about when I'm designing the dies, like what is the easiest way to kind of group them on the dies? And um, how do we want, you know, how is it gonna be used? And just little um, tips really on ease of use when you're making. So these are the three pieces. And then, so it's super handy that I've got this adhesive sheet on the back, so I can just peel that off and stick them in place. So this is kind of like um, putting a jigsaw together. It's really satisfying when it comes together at the end. 
kind of like um, Tim Hortons colour eyes, but a little bit more simple. So that one follows this crease rule here. And you can see the contrast in the colours here um, kind of showing up, but there's so many different options you can make with these. So you could use like a, a darker colour at the base or a lighter colour and just kind of mix and match for different effects. Um, and if you want to make this flower a couple of times in different colours, um, then you're getting like a big, nice kind of bouquet cluster with that. So then I've pre-cut my center. So that one is also in there, which is this little piece here. So I've cut this one out of cream and I've also got a piece of sheet on the back. So I can just stick that in place there. And there you have it, your assembled flower piece. So that was really easy to put together. Um, so that didn't take me very long at all. So the rest of the flowers in the set um, that I already have here is this one, which is a bit of a different style, and I've kind of mixed and matched the colour palette here as well, so like I said, with the muted, and this is one from the um, colour story. So that one is, I think it's the coral one, so that goes really nicely together. Then I've already done the leaves ready to go, like so. And I'm actually gonna cut one more of the leaves so you can see that shape in detail. I'm going to use this navy cardstock from the Muted just to add a splash of contrast here. There we go. So that one is all cut. Um, so that is just a navy and I'm not going to add the layering pieces to this one just to add a bit of difference um, there. So next I've got my card base. So this one I've used one of our sentiment stamps on here um, and then I've backed it onto the different colours um, Opulence Muted cards um, and you can use any sentiment for this like that's the nice thing about flowers it's so versatile you can do like a thank you card and um, you can do birthdays you can do, do a generic hello. So I've got my card base ready here and then I'm going to use our foam tape um, to stick the flowers just to add that little bit of um, dimension to the card. So I'm just gonna pop a little piece at the back. And I always start, if I'm working on a cluster like this, I always start with a bigger one first and then build up around it with the leaves and the smaller flowers. So I'll just position this one nicely in this corner. You can always kind of, you know, I always use flower arrangements in my card making, so I'm quite used to it. But if you're not sure, you can always just kind of place them down and then move them around and mix and match um, to get the right um, layout that you're after. So now pop there. I think I'll tuck this one just over, actually, over the first flower in this corner. And then for the leaves, I'm actually just going to sculpt them a little bit to add that dimension. So I've got my sculpting foam pad here um, and the tool. So just with the leaves, I'm going to just curl up the edges just to add that little bit of dimension, but not so raised as the flowers. So I'm just going to roll around the edges on this. And this one I have added that secondary piece on there, so I've gone for the dark green for the edging, so kind of like a shadow effect. And I'm going to do these ones as well. So it doesn't need much, but it just means that they're not just flat on your card. There we go. And then I've got my messy little glue palette here, which is just a scrap piece of paper. Um, and then I'm just going to I've got the express glue, so I'm just going to put some just on the edges and then tuck them underneath the flower here and stick that in place. And again with this one. Then I'm thinking I want this dark one coming along the bottom here because that's kind of how it flows. So again, just tucking that in and sticking it in place. I think actually this one is quite big to fit in here. So what I sometimes do is I just 
cut it in half and keep the other bit for later. So I've just cut that so you can mix and match and alter it to whatever layout that you want. I'm just going to pop that in there like that. Then I'm just going to use foam tape again just to put this on my card base just to add another layer of dimension. So the great thing about our foam tape is you can just rip it and cut it to the size that you want um, really easily. And you don't need much of it either because it is super tacky. Okay. So I'll just line that up. And there we have it. So really easy to put together, but the end result is so nice. Like it looks like that has taken me so long to do, um, but it's literally, you know, just a couple of minutes, just a bit of assembly and, you know, working on the layout and the colors. So I'm just going to show you a couple of other ones that I've made um, just in different color schemes just to show you kind of like the versatility from it. So when I am designing, I do try and think obviously this is for chapter two, so it's for spring, summer, um, but I do also try and think of versatility. So if you have bought this die, I want to, you know, I want you to be able to use it for many different occasions. Um, so this one here, I've used the Sizzix cards and envelopes, one of the neutral ones, the greys, um, and I've just used like a really basic colour palette, all the neutrals, but you can see the kind of difference that you're getting with these. Um, this one again, and also just the sentiment as well, like if you just change up the sentiment, it can be a completely different um, occasion then. And this one I think is super cute. So this one I've just used like creams and golds um, and the smallest flower here. So this one I think would be really nice for like weddings, uh, congratulations wedding cards or also like place cards. Um, so I think that colour scheme there is really nice. And I know it's a bit early but just to show you that you could also use this for Christmas. Um, so I've used some of the festive cardstock there um, mixed with some gold opulence and you can put your sentiment in the corner. So that just shows you kind of like the versatility that we have um, with our die designs. Um, so hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration. So if you have had this, if you have bought this die set, I'd love to see what you've made with it. So as always, tag me. Um, I'm over on Instagram as well. Um, and also just use the hashtag MyMakingStory. Um, we'd love to see what you've made with it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.